Hello everyone, this is Mickey Wasaki. I'm a San Diego artist and I have a design studio in the Point Loma area of San Diego. In 2019, I was fortunate enough to collaborate with the Minge International Museum and the NTC Foundation at Liberty Station. I designed a project called FaceTime in which we built three small sort of pavilion structures with seating underneath as a sort of response to sort of contextual issues on site, but also to create an environment where we can gather and have face-to-face -face conversations. The project is an extension of my studio work, which has often had me exploring planar quadrilaterals or planar quads, these four-sided flat panels. We have been looking at the capabilities, the spatial and sort of structural capabilities of organizing these panels into different sculptural forms. And today, we're gonna to show you how you can create your own model of a planar surface artwork at your home. You're gonna start by taking these template sheets and rough cutting the pieces out. We just wanna get rid of the excess paper so we can tile them on a larger piece of cardboard. You should have a total of 15 planar quad shapes. You'll need a printer, the templates, scissors, glue or tape, or whatever items you wanna to use to decorate your structure whether it's colored pencils, paint, markers, stickers, anything you feel like. Next, you can apply a little bit of glue or tape to the templates to stick them to the cardboard, just enough to temporarily hold them in place. We will be using a straight edge and a craft knife to cut everything out. So if you're not comfortable using a blade, please have someone help you with this. You can also use scissors just as effectively. Once you've cut all the pieces out, you can sort them to match the PDF template provided. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. You just match the different shapes of concentric lines. There are half circles, half squares, and half triangles. The easiest thing to do is to just match the orientation you see in the diagram. Now that they're all matched together with the template on top, you're going to flip each segment or row together and apply tape to the back side. This will allow the joints to be flexible. So don't use glue here, just use tape. You can now set the paper templates aside and just have the cardboard. But you may want to save them if you get confused or something doesn't align. You can flip the pieces back over. And now we're ready to assemble the planar quads and build our structure. This is the hardest part, but also the fun part. Make sure the seams line up and be patient the tricky part here is to figure out which way the pieces fold along the joints. But once you get past the first couple, it becomes easier and you'll notice the arch structure becomes more stable. This may take a couple extra hands and so you have someone around that can help you. It may make it a little bit easier. But as you start taping, you can use whatever tape that works for you, but blue tape or painter's tape we found is what works best. You can always go back and reinforce with hot glue or some other stronger tape, and you can go decorate it with paint, stickers, or anything else you find might work. And that's it. There you have it. Your very own cardboard planar quadrilateral arch. You should be able to find wherever this video is posted a link to the PDF files associated with this project. We have two different scales uh, we are working with with these models and the other is a smaller version that can probably can be completed in about 15 to 20 minutes. Depending on your age and tools you have or that you're comfortable with, you can choose which one you would like to build. 